Coldplay. Palutena. Only the Coldplay Palutena. Uh, that was that, that was so. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Let's just go right into it. Let's go into well, loser semis. So regardless, going to PS2 for game one. Um, you can see John shooting out his Twitch tiles, trying to get a little bit of chip damage, but Jan not falling for it. Who knows? Maybe that button check was foreshadowing for a, a future game. Mm, hopefully. That'd be a refreshing change of pace. Yeah, it definitely would. <laughs> really, really great falling back here. Woo, we almost converted that explosive flame into an auto reticle. Yeah, that was definitely very, very sassy, but unfortunately, Numbers Drift was a little bit too fast for the auto reticle to connect. Great roll read. Um, just positioning himself perfectly. And right now, Numbers, ah, the get up attack was a little bit too aggressive, maybe trying to lead um, him not shielding that. Okay, so he does have Sun Salutation set up, but now the sets are pretty even. Ooh. And he does capitalize on getting a landing there. Yep. Now we're just gonna see numbers just high. Look at that, he's just gonna drift all the way off stage, not gonna even bother to contest Jen. And that was the bait. That I I think I know exactly what John was going for, but Jen was one step ahead. He was going for that side B spike. And yeah. you saw him ready with the Saku ball, but Jen beautifully outplaying him one step of the way by up being and not instantly snapping to ledge. So great awareness from Jen, but also I love the fact that John went through that bait too, because you know, he knew exactly that Jen was gonna fall for it, and he almost did. Yes, indeed. Who is oh, falling yeah, back? back. Yeah. Not I'm enough. Not gonna get that yet, but now you're just giving, you're just giving numbers more time to, 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 uh, to buff himself up. But we just, I just turned my head for one second. With, I turned my head for one second. I think Jen has the. Oh! <laughs> that was a JV3. Wow. To focus on well your now, well, well, well. How about we seeing some interesting? Uh, you know that JV happens. I stunts. see that happen. Like I see like John land some stuff, and then while he's still at zero percent, he says, "I'm just gonna go commit to a down off stage." Yeah, I need, take, I need to take a look back because I think I, I, th I think uh, Jen uh, SD did that. John numbers just did that, and actually we are gonna see Terry. We are oh, gonna wow. see Jen's wow. Terry here. All right, so. Um, I've been talking to a lot of players about what their takes are on Terry, and the common um, discourse is, is that Terry is really, really good, and he's not to be slept on, and he's better than the Shotos because he will kill you really early, but the biggest fault is, of course, recovering to stage, and right now, he has no jump, oh and got spiked. <laughs> yep. Amazing zero death from John Numbers. And this is definitely going to be a super difficult matchup, especially if Jen's going to struggle to get in. Oh, wait. Wait Terry. a second. He actually did true rising tackle out of that bread and butter combo. Yep. I've been talking about that. I wonder if he could actually do that. And you can. And the dash attack still able to connect the late hit into the, uh, the tech roll. Right now, you just see John like, ooh, that ooh, shield that sh is looking kind of thin, buddy. That looking like a blue Skittle. Ah, uh, Jen tried to call out a land with the neutral B, but unfortunately, John's drift was a little bit too far in for him to get it. Great F tilt just pushing him out. I love these um, short hops coming from John right now. They're just positioning himself perfectly in order to be able to punish what he needs to punish. And now Jen does have his two KO moves on deck. <laughs> Good advice. Coming thanks, from. thanks, we fit. Good Glad to know, buddy. Are we okay? Uh, but <laughs> Lance the boss too. Well, but Terry just wanted to give we fit a vibe check. Mm -hmm. Ooh, if he got in that grab, that would have been really, really big damage. Perfectly spaced up, be making sure he'll be able to snap on Sledge. Great grab. Terry gets so much off of grabs, but unfortunately not able to connect anything out off of the up air. Maybe he need a little bit more stage. Oh, he's about to predict a roll there with the power guy. He geyser. did get it, but he just timed it a little bit too early. I mean, right now he's down 54 to zero. Right now John yeah. is holding a very good stock lead. And if there's anything John does well, it is holding a stock lead. Unfortunately, I don't think he did true power dunk, so he didn't get the he didn't get yep. the meteor on it. 
And right now, like you just see, Jan is trying to really get something started, but he can't because John is just moving around all of his hitboxes. Of course, and there it is. That's also a problem with Terry because his recovery wow. is very exploitable. A very exploitable recovery, and his moves just don't snap ledge. So, I mean, this is. This is looking pretty rough for Jenner right now. He needs to win three games in a row. And he's deciding to stick with Terry, which I think is really, really admirable, but also smart considering he does a, he did a lot better this game, um, considering the fact that he got JV3 game on. Um, but I think uh, Jen is really serious about committing to this character. Wow. Wow. 67. Wow, 65. 65, though. That, that of only just a few moves. I mean, that's the power of deep breathing. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, maybe Jen just wanted to stick with the character because he's probably confident with it. I mean, he yeah. knows that. Sure, I got I got an early stock taken for me, but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean like, oh, it was it was my fault playing the character. So maybe he could do it this time. Oh, oh my God, though. He had to air dodge or something. He couldn't just get hit by the soccer ball quite like that. I think the nail nail rising order, I believe that was. And right now he was trying to get something started, but unfortunately did not connect. But that was looking pretty saucy. Gonna get him with a dash attack. He does get that deep breathing now. Yep. Oh, uh, punishes That's him with the, with the side beat. It. And it's an even game. Both of them are so close in Pusant right now. Time to maybe get, I think there's a sour spot or a sour timing at least on the falling aerial so that he can convert it into a grab. Quite possibly. Mm -hmm. But right now, like, it's for the first time you see Jen actually have the advantage in the set. That's really, really good for him, showing that he is adapting so well. Uh, I believe that was the crack shooter, whatever goodness it's called. What, the crack shoot? Yep. Yeah. Um. Up being in, uh, again snapping to ledge. He's missing the snap to ledge. That is so dangerous. That's a point. That's an unfortunate problem with Terry because it doesn't snap the ledge like immediately. And the oh, no. almost killing him, but he's able to make it back to him so deep, and that is going to yeah, be the yeah. muster <laughs> wall. And it's so menacing. There's so much damage he kills you so early. And the fact that you can get jab into it is absolutely nuts. Right now, Numbers needs anything. He needs an f -tilt. He needs a forward throw off stage. Well, he could have used that Sun Salutation had Jed not beautifully shielded it. 50. And again, he does get the true rising tackle out of, the, out of that, down, that down throw combo. Oh, wow. And right now, Jen is doing so much better than he was the previous games. Oh, he almost got him there at Legend with the Power Geyser. He's going to throw a Sun Salutation in his face. Going to just fast fall to avoid the I soccer ball. I think Numbers could definitely benefit to play a lot more patiently for the back air. More than enough to kill uh, Jen right there. Really great timing on the shield. Remember the fact that it's so ridiculously active. Right now, Jen is just applying the pressure onto Terry, onto Jen. Really, really bringing this back after that stock deficit. Already sitting at 70%, and he has all the stage control that he could want. And right now, Terry needs to find a way to land against John. John's refit, which is so menacing and difficult to do. Let's see how he's going to recover. Right now, he has the go active. One Buster Wolf, one Power Geyser, one just about anything. Will oh, he, he got it! it. He got that jab That's into so that scary. power, guys. That's the, that is just the power of uh, Last Ditch Effort Terry. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That right, was so good. So, bringing it to game four, John is definitely starting to find his footing a little bit. Um, we def we need to see John kill. We need to see John uh, definitely maybe hone down on those edge guards a little bit more. Because that Maybe is so. where Terry's biggest weak point is. Um, and just WeFit has so much to stay off stage. And I also think John could benefit from playing it just a little bit more patiently. Yes, indeed. Like, honestly, I can't imagine any, like, incentive for WeFit to, um, um, to really be approaching um, uh, Terry like that. But regardless, right off the bat, both of them are just throwing out their respective projectiles against one another. Uh, getting his jump called out. 
jump, like staying perfectly adjacent to the hitbox, making sure he doesn't get hit by it. Alright, gonna catch him connected with his forward airs. Oh, he didn't connect that whole bit of a combo there. He's gonna take that after getting hit by that down air. Gets him with a crack shoot. Oh, Numbo is failing to punish John on his landing. Now, right now, this is so bad for him. Uh -oh. He needs to find a way to get back with the crack shoot hitbox. Doing a great job of just pushing John back. I'm not going to get that smash. You know he's going to get that uh, smash attack out there. Boy, he's going to get that. And whoa! Not kill just yet. Despite being at that platform. Oh, but that's gonna and kill, the though. soccer ball hitbox extension. I think he hit him with his own soccer ball back into the side B. Really, really beautiful stuff. Yeah. Ah, he could have punished him on the end lag of it, but was just off. I was gonna hit him with that sun salutation. Both well, power guys are in the wrong direction. Again. But with the up throw, really, really interesting choice. They may be just trying to punish him on his landing. But Jenny right now is just doing a great job of finding those openings against John. John might be getting a little a tiny bit impatient, but right there, wow. Oh. That, that sunset station almost like it went through the stage. <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's going to be the down throw, but unfortunately not being able to connect the soccer ball off on it. He was trying to get the downer, but he mistimed it and then was able to get hit by the up. Getting the deep breathing off. This is looking pretty bad for John right now because as soon as John gets one hit, who knows how much damage he could deal. That was good up air to uh. Yeah, it was a neutral air to an up air, but yeah, it did a quite a bit we you know, both of them are just dancing around each other. They're just seeing who is going to be committing first. Really, really great aerial coming from Jun. Just knocking Jun back up a little tiny bit. And all of Terry's aerials are just so low knockback intentionally, so they are designated as combo moves. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, again, he's hitting his own ball back at him. Oh, he's going to shoot that back That's going to be it. Yeah, that's going to be the stock right there. Right there. John looking a little bit shook right now. Yeah, just a little bit, but he can't. He's got to keep his composure. He has to find a way to close this out. He's looking just to deal with damage, but chip damage, unfortunately, will only make things worse, considering the go mechanic. Yeah, right? <laughs> right. Ren getting shield poked with that um, sun salutation. Now, right now, he has to be punished off stage, but John opting to charge. Oh my god, oh my god. Nice. There's combos coming out here from Jed. Oh, he tried to two frame yep. him with the power geyser. And right now, John is, you know, playing with, John is the one playing patiently with those neutral bees, just spacing him out. It's like begging him to approach so that he can get something really, really saucy started. And John, of course, being a stock down, has to be the aggressive dude. And you know, those neutral beats really, really add up in terms of percent. You see John already at 91. And he's gonna take him there. there. Yes, he will. Wow. That time he got him on the platform, that time he got that KO. Unlike the other time. And once again, we huh. are seeing another Game 5. Man, this is crazy. Um, The fact that Jen was able to come back from that despite such definitive Game 1s and 2s, his adaptation is genuinely nuts. Um, It's so much to talk about. But anyhow, jumping into Game 5 of losing semis, the loser of this is obviously going home and will not be taking any of those delicious top three prizes. So right now, Numbers already got the breathing active. He's just trying to hit uh, Jen, trying to get a little, little something, something started. And Jen's movement is beautiful, able to circumvent every single projectile perfectly. Uh, 
still gonna have to stay off stage. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I think at one point Jen might be even considering this um, just to try to maybe media uh, numbers going off stage yeah. like that with the breathing, especially considering how reactable it is and how potent Terry's uh, spike immediately is. Yeah. Regardless, beautiful conversions, just racking up so much percent on numbers, and numbers might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now, not knowing how to DI certain things. But yeah, going back to what you were saying earlier, I feel like he should be capitalizing on when Numbers is going to charge up, uh, you know, deep breathing close to the ledge. But then again, a lot of it could also just be like bait. He's asking Jack to come over so that he could cancel the breathing and then take out the stock prematurely. So a lot of that respect just might be coming from Jan knowing him as a player. And that tech chase was beautiful. <laughs> Getting the jab, jab, down beat, being so close to the edge of the stage, more than enough to take it. Parrying that uh, the soccer ball. Now Jen does have his. Jen has that go. Oh, but he fell. Unfortunately, he was too low. And he will pay for that with his first star. All right, he's just like, dancing him around him now. Mm -hmm. And then John has taken back. Oh, see, now himself. he did it that time. But I, I think the soccer ball was beautiful. And look at that, exactly what I said. Numbers wanted him to go off stage. He didn't even get the full spike out of it. He was off stage, and then he got spike free. He lost the stock free the one time that he committed. So well, there you go. That's Numbers <laughs> game plan. That's why it's so scary, and you have to just respect so many of the things that he does. Because you make a slip up, you are the one losing oh, your stock. Fuck. No, he almost looked like he took that one now. Yep. John getting another little bit of, he's breathing a little bit more right now. Oh, he almost got with that fourth smash. Ooh, really, really great throw. combo. And right now, yep, that move has so much priority and it lasts for such a long time. So, Jan right now sitting at 99%, considering how heavy Terry is. All he needs is to get hit once. He has the go mechanic active, and from then on, who knows where the game could even go. I mean, honestly, right now, this is the best percent for John to have Terry at because he's not going to hit him with anything like He's going to hit him with something that's going to knock him really far. And what yeah. good is the goal mechanic if he's so far off stage? Exactly, especially now also that he's got... Oh, well, he had deep breathing. But he, oh, he, I don't think he... Yeah. Okay, now he just, he, that's all he needed. He just that's needed one hit. He just needed one hit. And now he's got those KO moves on deck. Well, he got the up tilt. He got that's the, a he, jab. Could yeah. be. He got the up tilt, but he couldn't get the power guys there off of it. <gasps> oh. Hey. I'm sorry, this is just so tense right now, because either one of them could die at any moment. This is super, super scary for both players, because Terry's boost options are absolutely insane, and Numbers' as edge guarding is just as nuts. So, you just see him going, just running up and shielding, trying to get a, maybe a parry punish or something. Oh. I think with the down be so aggressive but rolling through the sound salutation. Oh, running into that one. 189%. This is super, super scary right now for Jan. Wow. Oh, he's gonna... reasserting all of the stage control he could possibly want for himself. Uh -oh. And he oh, rolls oh. right into it. Oh. And that is going to be it. That is going to be 3 2 for John. John progressing into losers finals at Xeno Saga, guaranteeing him at least third place. And John going home with fourth today. Really, really unfortunate, though. Um,